President Evil X Joe Her now here from the Evil Goods and welcome back to a brand new video on Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies on the map of Barry. Today I just want to talk a little bit more about the time bomb since I've been using it a lot lately for the first time because every time I hit the box I seem to get monkeys and I seem to get the wonder weapon but now I actually got the time bomb and now let's talk about how powerful this machine is and how it affects you and all the players while playing the game. We just finished up the easter egg, the Maxis side. This weekend I'm bringing you guys the full tutorial for Maxis side of the easter egg and Rick Defense side of the easter egg and show you guys both the endings. So here goes the time bomb and what it allows you to do, you can drop it on the floor which what I'm going to do, you guys can see I still have it on my hand in my inventory when you press down on the d-pad it actually comes out in front of your hand. Now when you drop it, it'll put a little circle above the round that you're actually on and when you hit that button because it's going to give you an option to hit a button to go back in time basically what you're doing is going back to the round that you dropped that time bomb that same exact position for all players is like a save point that's the best way of explaining it to you guys it's a save point where when you drop it I'm gonna drop it right here so if I use it and hit that button right here it's gonna take me back to round 18 to that particular spot so for example if I'm around 50 one of my circles right here in the garden in the maze and I hit the time bomb I'm gonna hit it right now because I'm actually about to go down it's a clutch move I actually cleared it with my partners first my teammates because once I hit that time bomb I go back to that same particular spot where I actually dropped it now I got now I gotta go back and try to escape this horde again and keep the game going on my part see I almost got trapped again but I actually made it out this time because that time bomb actually saved me allowed me to think a little bit more on how to strategically run this circle but I cleared it with my teammates letting them know that I'm gonna go back in time and it was fine with them even though that it did it so fast and rapidly and they was like cool because they only went back to that one spot that they were on as well now how it affects your points now if you put all the money in the bank and you decide to go back in time so say you're around 22 and you have you know 45,000 points and you put that money in the bank and then you hit the time bomb but you drop the time bomb on round 2 so you're gonna go from round 22 or round 20 all the way down to back to round 2 where you have no points now you're like um, can I make that points again and put it back in the bank and will it you know my money double that way so far I don't know still testing that theory and actually how to bring you guys a video on how to duplicate money because I'm actually working on it so if you guys enjoyed this video subscribe and like today if you have not already as evil continue to bring you the viewers the goods Welcome to the bonus section of the video. Just so you guys know, with the time bomb, if you go down with the time bomb, you cannot come back and bring yourself back to life. Now, if your teammates go down and they missed a round because they went to eat or something and they died out, and use the time bomb, you can actually go back in time and bring them back with the same guns that they went down with and the same perks, and they can actually survive and try the game again. So if they missed it, they can actually have a second chance to do it. Now if you get a max ammo, it refills your time bomb so you can actually change what round you want to reset on. So if you guys enjoyed the analytics of how to use the time bomb on my channel.